Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Audrey. I'm currently a medical student here in the Philippines. So for this series, I took the liberty to ask some of my colleagues and friends to answer some of the questions to help aspiring physical therapy students. Now let's welcome Mikaela Luz Maxino from Siliman University. Now would you like to introduce yourself and ultimately how did you decide to go into physical therapy as the career you want to pursue? So hi everyone, again, I'm Michaela Maxino, um, you can call me Kyla. Thank you, Audrey, so much for having me here. So, <laughs> Thank um, you, <laughs> So, um, I graduated um, BS Physical Therapy from Silliman University. So, um, originally, I knew I really wanted to become a doctor, but um, when I was in high school, I didn't know which pre-med course to take. So, I was thinking um, between either nursing, med tech, or PT. So, I talked to a few of um, my titas and titos, and um, they were leaning towards physical therapy. Now, at that time, I didn't really know what PT was. So, I searched it online, and I, I found out that um, PT was all about helping people to um, stand, to move, to walk again. And I felt like it drew me na, Murag, it's like if I don't go to med, it would be a nice fallback because mm -hmm. I feel like I connected with the course as well. Especially um, most PTs will go to um, outside the country like the US mm -hmm. or Australia or New Zealand and they would work there. And it's a really nice um, job actually. They're paying really well. Mm -hmm. There. Um, and I find it like really interesting. So that's why I took up PT. And um, yeah, I I was looking through the um, the curriculum as well and compared it to the curriculum in med school. And I found out that there were a lot of subjects that were similar, such as um, the anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, patho. So um, I found it really interesting. So I took a step towards PT. <laughs> Okay, so that's nice. Now, what are the three things that excite you about being a physical therapist? So, why do you really love what you're doing right now? So, um, before I went into med school, because I I'm currently um a second year medical student studying in yes. Cebu Institute of Medicine with Audrey, of course. Yes. <laughs> so, um, before I started studying, <laughs> um, in med. I took one year off afterwards to um, practice my career in physical therapy. So I had um, a lot of home health patients. They, they were outpatients um, uh, and I went to their homes and I treated them for um, different kinds of um, diagnosis. I had stroke patients, I had fracture patients. And so um, the three things that excite me the most is the first thing is I really I'm excited to watch my patients improve. That's the very best part. Like when I started, they couldn't even sit. And when I finally discharged them, they could start walking on their own. Like that that's really something that I look forward to. And that's what I love be about being a PT. And um next is knowing that I made a difference in their lives and other people's lives. And um, I have families bring, bringing me cakes <laughs> to say yeah. thank you after discharges. No, it's so nice. Yes. Like, say, um, thank you, thank you, mom, for helping us, for helping our grandparents walk again, for helping our grandparents stand and um, etc. So that's that's really a nice, um, it's a very nice feeling. It's very warm. And um, third that I'm excited about was um, when. Um, my friends and family kept asking me about um, certain um, inquiries regarding like um, <laughs> or yeah, like your back. Why does, yeah, why does yes. my back hurt? What should Very I do? Usual, um, yes. <laughs> so you know, being a PT, it's nice to finally answer them and uh, debunk all the myths about panuhot. Like it's not from, it's actually not from the wind. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's actually about your muscle that is um, jumbled up inside. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's really exciting. Being able to explain and educate other people. That's a nice thought also. Okay, so Kayla, if you would pick another field, what do you think it would be? Aside ah. from physical therapy. <laughs> okay. Um, it would either be dentistry or med tech. So first, um, dentistry. It was really my childhood dream to become a dentist. 
I don't know what happened along the way. I think halfway between um, grade six and high school, I just decided I wanted to be a doctor instead. But mm-hmm. even until now, every time I see dentistry videos or see my friends that are going to dentistry, I still feel very um, amazed at their job, at what they do, because it's a completely different field. Even if they're both in the medical field, they're completely different. And it's so interesting to see what they do as well. And med that I have just come to realize what they really do because you know not everyone is um, um, educated about what health professionals really do and yeah. I used to think med techs were just there to you know take the blood analyze them get the urine sample the stool whatsoever but now that I'm in second year I just have come to finally realize what their job really is and it's not easy like i'm really having a hard time with i know with patho and micro um and microbio and i really respect them that they all know this yeah mm-hmm. i know so, you, know, you used to take my tech yes <laughs> so monasha like if i didn't go to pp i would have chosen med tech because mm-hmm. i was you know um i was really thinking between them both but you know PT just really had my heart true <laughs> that's very true okay so now why do you think um, colleges fail to inspire students to go into physical therapy school because there are not a lot of pre-medical students know that there is a doctorate of physical therapy route diba? rather than going into the MD route so why do you think that is the case Yeah, I think it's just basically the lack of information and education of some people, especially the high school students. Like when I was in high school, I didn't even know what PT was. It was just thanks to my um, family and family friends that um, I knew about PT. So right now, I think it's because um, most um, students don't really, most high school students or elementary students don't really see PTs all around because you know, um, we are very few in number compared to the nurses and the medical technologies and I think they what they see is what they would aspire to be. For example, when you when you talk about pre-med it usually, they usually say med tech, because that's like the most um, you know, most Um, sought out course for pre-med yeah. and um, usually also there are a very few schools who are um, who have the doctor of physical therapy course but um, even here in the Philippines I don't know any school that is offering that you can only take that from um, abroad so that's not really known to most students even me when I was in PT I only knew about the DPT course when I was already in third year or fourth year I knew that oh that exists the eye you can be a doctor in physical therapy the eye without um going to MD like wow mm-hmm. okay so um I think that's just um the problem now the the lack of information access yeah actually from what I know okay there are I think two schools here in the Philippines pa that's offering the doctor the physical therapy and in Cebu Southwestern is actually offering that but then they just opened last year so it's yeah it's a relatively new field and lesser schools are really available compared I didn't even know that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So, can you um, tell us a brief background of the course in the context of Silimani University? So, did you take an entrance exam before enrolling? How many years does it take to complete? In general, the Silimani University is a very big campus. So, they have a lot of um, they have a lot of courses. So, usually you don't need to take an entrance exam. Um, when you go, uh, when you enroll in a course, directo na siya interview. However, for PT, um, our department requires us to take an entrance exam. So the entrance exam is very basic. It's just, you know, the basic math, the ba- basic science, and it's just like you can take it in half a day. Siguro to I I already forgot, but um, that's what's unique about the PT course in Silliman. And then next is you have to have an interview. Once um, you pass the entrance exam, you're called for an interview. Our curriculum takes used to take five years, like during my time. But mm-hmm. since K to 12 started, they shifted to being a four-year course already. So it's actually nice because um, 
uh, right now the students in um, PT in Siliman, they're really more, I think they have more knowledge than us as Especially since most of their subjects are now divided into small specialty subjects. So before we only used to have, you know, the anatomy, the physiology, kinesiology subjects. And then when you get to the um, third year and fourth year, your majors will be um, the the medical surgical conditions. It was very broad, the um, physical therapy applications. So um, what's nice um with the curriculum right now is they divided the subjects into geriatric PT, um, sci- uh, psychiatric PT, um, pediatric PT, um, neurologic PT, they even have um, skin PT or integumentary PT and um, actually it's very um, their curriculum right now is very nice. I'm even jealous. I wish I enrolled <laughs> at this time because it's really Same. nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, <laughs> yeah, they're very nice. And then um, well, in a typical day, we usually have um lectures. It depends on the schedule. Usually we have lectures and then in the afternoon or if it's our lab time, we have return demonstrations. And um, if it's the practical time, then we have practical. So, um, so our labs are divided into the normal laboratory activities where you can practice. And then afterwards, we are divided into our demonstrations and practicals. Are um, what's nice about Silliman is that they're very active. Um, in um, school organizations and extracurricular activities. So actually, when I was in college, I was part of um, um, a school organization called Renaissance Youth Leaders Forum or the RYLF. And um, I was also um, part of the student government of the whole Siliman. Yeah, because Siliman has a student government for the whole um, uh, college. And then I was also part of the student council in our own um PT department, so okay, um, yeah. that's very nice, actually. Yeah, because <laughs> um, yeah, they're they're, they're holding you to become well-rounded, ba, which is really nice. Yeah, that's really nice, cause um, yes, yeah, and it's like that. Like they they really they really um make sure that their students have um an equal you know um an equal form of education, not just um. Um, academics wise but also you know in extracurricular mm-hmm. also we have convocations for our faith like such that so that's what I like about Siliman so um, there, Siliman is also very mental health friendly like usually when we mm-hmm. draft something um, like example when the student government will draft something and will forward it to the office of the um, vice president for academic affairs, they will always act on it. So I think just recently they had this um, four day no four day screen break. That's what they called it, so that the students can have like a break from the screen, no classes, no activities. It was it was so nice. I'm jealous. Yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. that's nice lang na they don't disregard um the students um background. Okay. So, would you like to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of the school as to for example, on the tuition, you know, the location, the the curriculum and what are the rotations during your internship and the types of rehab settings you were also exposed to? Okay, sige. So, um the tuition fee, I think, this year, per sem, I mean, per, per sem, sem is around forty-two thousand yeah. something. I'm not really sure anymore. Um, that's I don't know how to compare it with other schools because I don't have any idea how much the tuition is in other schools. But um, for Silliman, it's around forty-two thousand something. Um, during internship, we had to pay a down payment of pay all the hospitals that we we had to because they told us it was um um they told us that they had to pay in advance before we start our rotations so that's why we had to pay immediately um 100 000. so that's um one of the disadvantages there um 
For the location, it's definitely an advantage. It's located here in Dumaguete City, in Siliman University campus. So Siliman University is a very, very big campus. It's um, filled with trees, and you know, it's a, it's like a small UP Diliman campus. That's what they say, and you can just um, walk around and. and Um, it's very healing, <laughs> if I could, if I could say it in one word. Actually, I I really loved walking through the campus. It takes all the stress away, especially after um a day of classes, and then you just want to, you know, course through and walk around campus. That's um very nice. Um, you can also bike around, so that's really nice also. For the curriculum, um. As what I've mentioned earlier, de ba? Um, right now they have a very good curriculum. So, um, since they're already four years na lang, during their first year they don't have a lot of minor or your art art subjects as we call them. So no more English, no more math because they already took that up in senior senior high. So they already have intro to PT as early as um first year. Um, before. We used to have it when we were in second year already, so that's nice. And then they already have their majors anatomy and physiology in first year as well. So before we used to have all our majors na in third year, but um now they already start them as young as first year, so that they will gradually step up into um, higher um, major subjects such as what I mentioned about the geriatric PT, the um, psychologic PT, the um, pediatric PT. So it's very nice actually. Their curriculum is very nice right now. Um, so during internship, um, we call it actually the Philippine tour because our school actually has to go around Manila, Cebu, Bacolod, and Dumaguete. So it's really nice. Um, unfortunately, um, we used to have uh, partners in Mindanao, but mm-hmm. um, they stopped that, I think, a few years ago. I think um, before I enrolled in college, they already stopped the, their partnership in Mindanao. We only have Luzon, Visayas. So for Luzon, it was actually really nice. Um, they um, partnered with um, UP um, Sports um, Sports Clinic or the UP SPTC. It's very nice. So that's our sports center. Um, just um, after our batch, they also partnered with Ateneo Moro Sports Clinic. So they already have two oh, sports okay. clinic, um, UP and Ateneo, oh, which is very nice. Okay. And then, yes. um, no, <laughs> it's very nice. So, mm-hmm. um, Actually, unfortunately, I wasn't able to um, have a sports center in my rotation. But um, my other classmates who did, they're really good now with sports PT because of the training they had there. So it's really amazing. Um, because before internship, we had to pick um, randomly our assignment. So there's this small jar and then we had to pick from it. And then once we pick, we have this very small paper and then it already has our location. So example, May, May to June, um, this is your center. And then mm-hmm. July, August, this is your center. So it's already, everything is already there. So um, you just have to be lucky enough to pick the um, good centers. But everyone had centers in um, Luzon and Visayas. But there are just some centers that could not be incorporated. Yeah. And then um, our pediatric centers are the PCPI in Makati or your Philippine Cerebral Palsy Institute. I think, yeah, PCPI in Makati. And then after our batch, they already had um, the PCMC or the Philippine Children's Medical Center. So they also have that. So it's nice. It's a re- really nice experience for pediatric PT. Um, I was able to go to PCPI. It was, of course, very hard. <laughs> but it's a really nice <laughs> Judang <Jude> Chay. <laughs> yeah. And then um, another um, another hospital that I'm really grateful to have gone to during internship was PGH in, in Manila. So UP PGH was... Um, uh, the PT there is divided into um, four. You have your inpatient, outpatient, um, stroke PT, and pediatric PT. So for Siliman, we only got the slot for stroke PT. So um, our specialty was really stroke, and it was really nice because 
um, how PGH trains you is that you have to be the one to make the, the full program. So the doctors will not give you a program. You as the PT will make it. And then your CIs will grade you based on the program you make mm-hmm. and the progress of the patient. So it's really it's a really nice training although it was hard um I really had um a good time there and I learned a lot like most of my patients after I passed the board exam were stroke patients and I had um a relatively easier course treating stroke patients rather than treating other patients with um orthomuscular Ortho, problems yeah. because um my training with stroke is better yeah because of PGH so um those are the rotations in Manila so for Cebu we have um Perpetual Socor Chongwa and um Maayo Well Clinic in Mandawe okay. yeah unfortunately I wasn't able to rotate in Cebu but um a lot of my friends who did said they they really had a great time there also and the mm-hmm. training was really good especially in Perpetual Socor when they had yeah. their new gym na and Everything really, yeah, it's so nice now. So <laughs> yeah, that's um for Cebu. <laughs> and then um for Bacolod, we have two centers, um Riverside Medical Center and um Bacolod Adventist Medical Center. So these are both hospitals, and um they have a lot of cases actually in which you can which you can treat. So they will just assign you patients um, like a normal hospital would. And um, it's really nice there also. The CIs are very kind and you will learn a lot there. Then finally for Dumaguete, we have our own Seleman University Medical Center and our Negros Oriental Provincial Hospital. So I actually learned a lot from NOPH because it's a public hospital, right? And And once you train in a public hospital, you get a lot of them are difficult to treat. So, habilitation. It's located um, in Dawin. It's 30 minutes from Dumaguete. Um, and um, it's really nice because we were able to go to um, the mountains. We had to travel with Habal Habal and go to our patient's house just to treat them. And um, sometimes we don't have enough um, since it's community based, diba, we don't have enough um, supplies or medical supplies. Resources, yeah, resources. Yes. So you really have to be resourceful mm-hmm. on what you will um, bring and what you will use. Um, we even had to make some bottles with sand inside it just to use them as dumbbells. Oh, for resistance, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> so so um, uh, that's my internship experience, actually. Yeah. Okay, so um, does the school also have any offshore or international connections where you can shadow a PT outside the Philippines? Actually, we used to have um, the batch before us. They had um, a partnership with a school in New Jersey that um, mm-hmm. you can actually have your internship there for I think three months, three or four months. Mm-hmm. Well, that's yeah, well, that's, that's a long yeah, that's a really long time, but. Um, unfortunately, during our batch, they stopped the partnership because the school had to transfer down to a new building. So they weren't accepting other ano na lang, other applicants from um, other schools. So that's why we were not able to um, experience that. So if you were to proceed to medical school, okay, I mean, you're already in medical school, right? <laughs> what, what, do you think are the, what do you think are the most useful subjects? Uh, definitely jud anatomy and physiology of course <laughs> <laughs> of course you know in first year i really felt yes. you know um mm-hmm. thankful that i went to pt because of anatomy when most mm-hmm. of my um classmates were struggling to memorize all the muscles and the nerves and their actions yes. innervations <laughs> etc I was here teaching them, helping them. I'm sure the si Audrey, you also. <laughs> I'm sure you, you know how I feel, yes. especially during SGDs with all our songs and chants, just to yes. help them memorize the muscle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are the very most useful subjects. Mm-hmm. Okay, what are the other career opportunities or academic tracks in case that, um, in case they will not proceed to medical school? 
Mm, okay, so um, first is what um, you stated earlier regarding the um, DPT or the mm-hmm. Doctor in Physical Therapy, the right? So once you graduate from um, PT, you can either stay in the country and work as a PTRP or a physical therapist registered in the Philippines, or you can um, take the NPTE. Um, then move to the states if you would want to work there as a registered physical therapist, and then you have to take the DPT course so that you be- mm-hmm. you can become a doctor in physical therapy. So um, other um, opportunities you have um, there are a lot of physical therapists also in the UK and in Australia, in which you can um, apply to, um, and that's it. I have also, by the way, I have also um, friends who stayed in Suleiman. They they're um, now teaching um, physical therapy as well. So it's it's really nice to see them um, take the path of being clinical instructors, mm-hmm. you know, while um, having home health patients as well. So that's another track that you can also proceed if you don't want to proceed to medical school. Okay, so what of advice would you like to give to aspiring physical therapy students? Ah, okay. Um, it's not going to be an easy journey, of course. Um, it's going to be hard. I had a lot of sleepless nights. Also, I shed a lot of tears. But you know, just like med school, you always have to. Um, remember why you started. Why did you go to PT? And um, think about all the your future patients. Um, think about how you're going to change the, their lives. Because we have this quote in Seliman about um, we improve the lives of others. Right? We don't save them, but we make them better. Because um, that's that's the nice thing about PT is that. When all is said and done, and they're done with all their medical treatments, you're the only one they have left, because you you are the only one who could help them improve, and let them see that life is still worth living despite everything that they went through. So just always remember, make that your driving force, so that um you will always be inspired to learn. And study for your future patients, not just to pass. Very true. <laughs> You're the perfect Suleiman student, ah? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the ideal Suleiman student. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so, do you have anything to promote, Kay? Anything to promote, like your social media or what's your advocacy? Actually. Wala lang shy bit ako sa social media. Same. <laughs> Guys, I'm not like a green vlogger. I don't have a vlog. <laughs> But um, na lang. Check out Seleman. <laughs> I love Seleman. Check out Seleman and I know it's beautiful campus. <laughs> beautiful campus by the sea. Hopefully when COVID is um finally over, you can visit Dumaguete and you know Yes, very true. Dumaguete is a really nice city, actually. The diba? it's um one of the best cities wherein you can retire peacefully. There is not so much yeah. na, uh, yeah, it's very calm. Wala gubot. <laughs> yeah, gubot lang karon because of COVID. But you know, if it's yeah. any other day, it's really yeah. nice to relax here lang. So thank you so much for your time, Kay. I know you really inspired future PT students out there listening to this series. Thank you, Kayo. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on. I'm so, so humbled and honored oh. to be here. <laughs>